We've been talking throughout the course of the day about the Summit Racing Junior Drag Racing League. Kids can get started at a young age, literally as young as five years old. gentlemen we got the junior cars here we have got what might be the best junior announcer in the history of the world that just happens to be hanging out here this weekend we're going to throw down to homer and let him tell you about the oh cars. how great is this this is junior drag racing league these are the guys that race at the eastern conference finals and we're going to see laundry out of the left hand side we're going to see pow out of the left hand side this is Corey reed this is ava ward these are the heavy hitters this is the future of NHRA drag racing right here, and you're going to see it. The exhibitionists, these are the best of the best right here. Come out to Atlanta Driveway to enjoy the last Lucas Oil Southern Nationals. How great is this? My name's Homer. I stand it on the line. Here we come. Down on the tree. Watch the left side. Watch the left side. You will see Corey Reed going to hang out the laundry here. Across the finish line, 789 on the right, 82 mile an hour. All right, where's the flutter? Is the flutter? We got pow! We got laundry on the left hand side. How cool is that? If you're gonna play with the big boys, you gotta act like the big boys, baby. That's what I like. Kids hanging the laundry. It doesn't get any better than that. How great is that? Holy cow! That's awesome. I love it. We got Hancock, and we got Kylie Carter. Junior drag racers. You can start junior drag racing when you're five years old now. You race until you age out at 18. And there's nothing better to do with a family than go drag racing on the weekend, as you guys know, being here at the Southern Nationals. Gave a word. 907 on the right, 897 on the left. Next up, we got another couple of heavy hitters. Logan West motored over here on the left. He is steeped in the industry, baby. <laughs> I got to ask you guys in the stands, how many of you like to take a hit in one of these? Raise your hands. Anybody? How many of y'all would like to take a hit? Raise your hand. I know you would. I know you would. I'd like to too, but I ain't gonna fit. I'll guarantee you that. How great is this? These guys get to say that I made a pass down Atlanta Dragway at the 40th annual Lucas Oil Southern Nationals. Bump it in there, Logan. Come on, bump it in. There we go. Side. This is where they start honing their skills, guys. This is where they start honing these skills. These guys sit home and practice on a port tree over and over and over again. 781, 82 miles an hour on the left side. Kate Ward now up on the left side. Aaron Reynolds on the right side. Aaron Reynolds, Cody Kennedy, who is the track manager here at Atlanta Dragway. being coached by his coach over there. Katie Ward being crewed by Matt Ward here. He races in the Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series. He's also racer Sir Christ Chaplain for us. He's the guy that, that delivers some of our uh, Sunday morning chapel service every week when we're out on the series. Katie Ward is in. Aaron Reynolds is in. 
Last minute coaching from the coaches. Started a long time ago as Alan Reinhardt is because some kid couldn't get through a football. <laughs> Look it up, true story. But dad, I wanna, I wanna participate in something. I'm not good at sports. Got out some conduit, built him a drag car, and the rest is history. Unlike the other series where you get seven seconds before the tree times out, you get 10 seconds here, but on an exhibition run, I'll bet you we're going to get another shot of this. 1196, 53 miles an hour. They have different uh, allowed ETs. As you get older, you're allowed to go faster. You usually start in the 1190s. When you get a little bit older, you get to the 1090s, the 890s, and then by the time you're 16, 17 year old, you're running 790, high 70s, low 80 mile an hour. Kate's giving one more shot to make a trip down Atlanta Dragway here at the Lucas. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, ho. When you think she left so early that she went red, but the red light doesn't come on, then you're looking for a good reaction time. Kate Ward down there, 1259, 46 miles an hour. How about those kids? Show them some love, will you guys? How about those junior drag racers, man? That is just spectacular. Joe, I can't thank you enough. And while you're showing some love, how about our junior dragster announcer, Uncle Homer? Now, Homer, let's talk a little bit about this other program, the Junior Street Program. Hayden Wilson Jr., behind the wheel of this incredible 3500 HD Chevrolet. All you kids out there who want to just jump right to the big cars, if you're between 13 and 16, you can call your NHRA member track, and you can go down the track with your parent in their car. Think about that. If you don't want to invest in a junior dragster and go through all of that, your regular streetcar. And Homer, I got to tell you, this is exactly how I got started. 1990 GMC pickup truck running 19 seconds with my dad, Hayden Jr. and Senior, Hayden Wilson Jr. and Senior, doing this in this 3500. Another way to go NHRA drag racing. I know what it's like, Joe. I started with my dad right alongside me in a 65 fair lane, but I'll guarantee you we weren't doing this. Exactly. But look at this 3500 Silverado, by the way. Pretty awesome. And there he goes. He might have turned the tire a little bit. So if you want to be part of bracket racing in the Summit Series, you want to get out there at just 13 years old in a real car, if that's what you guys got, go to NHRA.com, the track locator, find a track, call them, and if they don't run this program, tell them you would like them to. And then you could be out here on the track. You and your dad or you and your mom or however you want to do it, out there bracket racing. What a great program. Junior Street in the National Hot Rod Association. Uncle Homer. Great job. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate the invitation. And to Mama Homer, wherever you are, great job with this guy. Back upstairs. You just made my weekend, man. You can hear the passion in his voice, can't you? The kids absolutely love him when he goes and does the Junior Nationals. And I don't know if you know this or not, but he's got a couple of favorite cars out there. 